Ripple Labs is a well-known fintech company that provides fast, low-cost, cross-border payment solutions. The company operates on a blockchain-based platform using its digital currency, XRP, to facilitate cross-border payments. In December 2020, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs, alleging that the company had conducted an unregistered securities offering in violation of federal securities laws. The lawsuit sent shockwaves through the crypto industry, leading many to question the future of XRP and the viability of the entire crypto asset class. Ripple has responded to the SEC's allegations by launching a fair notice defense claiming that the SEC has failed to provide clear guidance on the regulatory status of XRP and other cryptocurrencies. Ripple argues that the lack of clear guidance from the SEC has created a regulatory gray area that has left many companies, including Ripple, unsure about the legality of their activities. Ripple claims that the SEC's lawsuit against the company is unfair as it was only filed after years of XRP trading, during which time the company relied on the lack of clear guidance from the SEC to conduct its business. The fair notice defense is based on the principle that a government agency cannot retroactively enforce regulations against a company if the agency has failed to provide clear guidance on the issue in question. In the case of Ripple, the company claims that the SEC has failed to provide clear guidance on the regulatory status of XRP and other cryptocurrencies, and that this lack of guidance has resulted in a regulatory gray area that has left many companies uncertain about the legality of their activities. Ripple argues that the SEC's lawsuit against the company is unfair because it was only filed after years of XRP trading during which time the company relied on the lack of clear guidance from the SEC to conduct its business. Ripple claims that the SEC's failure to provide clear guidance on the regulatory status of XRP has resulted in a situation in which companies, like Ripple, have had to make educated guesses about the legality of their activities, based on the best information available at that time. The fair notice defense has been successfully used in the past by other companies facing regulatory enforcement actions. For example, in 2014, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, sought to impose penalties on several mobile phone companies for violating net neutrality rules. The companies argue that the FCC had failed to provide clear guidance on the issue, and that lack of guidance had left them unsure about the legality of their activities. The FCC eventually dropped its enforcement action against the companies, acknowledging that it had failed to provide clear guidance on the issue. The outcome of Ripple's fair notice defense remains to be seen. However, the case highlights the importance of clear and consistent regulatory guidance for companies operating in the crypto industry. The lack of clear guidance from the regulatory bodies like the SEC has created regulatory ambiguity that has left many companies uncertain about the legality of their activities. This uncertainty has resulted in regulatory enforcement actions like the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple. Ripple Labs' fair notice defense highlights the importance of clear and consistent regulatory guidance for companies operating in the crypto industry. The lack of clear guidance from regulatory bodies like the SEC creates uncertainty, hinders innovation, and slows down mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. The outcome of Ripple's fair notice defense will be closely watched by the crypto industry and may have implications for other companies facing regulatory enforcement actions. So. Will Ripple's fair notice defense prevail against the SEC's regulation by enforcement mentality? Stay tuned. Cheers.